Now that we know a little bit about what SOAP is, let's take a look at the message structure itself. So first of all, everything is going to be enclosed in what's known as the SOAP envelope. So the SOAP envelope is going to contain a couple of different pieces, but the envelope is going to be the container for all of the message components. One of those components is going to be what's called the SOAP header. So the header is going to have information uh, that's going to be pertinent to the recipient of the message themselves. So the envelope is going to have a tag associated with it. So here we see the little envelope tag here. So it's going to be the high-level XML descriptor for all of the message data. Then we're going to have a header. Now, the header area here can actually contain one or more entries. Now, depending on which version you're working with or which level of sophistication you happen to have with, uh, with headers, usually there's only going to be one, but realize there could be more than one. And what we're going to contain in here at this point in time is almost always going to be some type of security information or uh, the definition of user IDs and passwords that we're going to use to get through the firewall for the, the uh, service itself. So inside the SOAP header area we're going to have different kinds of extensions and entries. So beyond the authentication piece, the other thing that we might see defined in here might be complex types. So complex types happen when we're passing objects around. So objects will need to be defined, will need to uh, have some type of description of, as far as what that object is going to contain. The complex type area of the header is what's going to define that for us. For example, maybe what I'm passing back is uh, an employee. So what does an employee look like? Well, that information will be contained in the header area of the SOAP header. In addition to that, we're going to have one and only one body area. The body is actually where the message is. So this is either the input message or the output message uh, pertinent to uh, the particular requester or receiver. So inside of here we're actually going to see message related information. We're actually going to see message data. So for example, if um, I were accessing the employee database and I wanted to get employee information, what I might be sending as the input message might simply be the employee ID. What I might be getting back might be the first name, the last name, the phone number. That kind of information is going to be contained in the body of the message itself. So the SOAP message is the XML based component that we use to format message information for input and output types of messages. Uh, so this is the structure of it, this is what it looks like. In addition to this we're also going to talk a little bit about the concept of attachment. So this is just a basic message. There's another more uh, complicated and complex version that actually can pass attachment data.